Hey guys, it's Mackenzie. Welcome back to my channel. So today we have a huge cumulative 50 plus item thrift haul. Lots of winter items, lots of sweaters, lots of jackets, some winter boots, and all of this was purchased, I would say over the last couple of months at uh, several different thrift stores, mostly outlet stores where the cost of goods is like $1.50 to $2.00 but some of the shoes were purchased at regularly priced thrift stores. So I would say overall my average cost of goods was maybe around that $2.50 mark for everything. So let's go ahead and get into it. As always, we will start off with shoes and then get into clothing. So starting off with one of my favorite finds, this is a pair of teaks. These I did pay $2 for, I did find them at the outlet. And even though Teeks have lost some of their resale value, when I first started reselling, if you found Teeks, it was just the best thing you could find. Nowadays, you know, the demand has cooled off a little bit, but I am still expecting, I would say 100 to 150 for these. So I would highly recommend you guys still pick them up. They're size seven, and I believe this colorway is a little bit more sought after than some of the others, so that's exciting. Next up, we have a pair of rag and bone booties. Very high quality, genuine leather. They have the stacked heel and back. And overall, the craftsmanship on rag and bone boots is just amazing. It's handmade Goodyear, so they have the Goodyear welt. These are size 36. That is a little bit of a smaller size, but I'm not worried about them selling. Um, next, Steve Madden. These are a tried and true a style of boot for me to sell. They're the Troopa boots. I've probably sold this exact style of Steve Madden boots 10 times in the past, and they usually always go for I would say 25 to 40-ish depending on condition and these are in really good condition. I do always look at this back heel here to see how much wear has been taken out of the sole and these are going strong. Size eight and a half. A pair of Eileen Fisher booties. I do like selling Eileen Fisher shoes. I would say that is a category that sells a little bit better than some of the other items from this brand, like more basics in clothing um, and these are really nice they look brand new almost they have it's like a split here and this is a very soft suede um, upper maybe not it's just a very soft leather actually so yeah really nice that's the bottom sole and like I was just mentioning that back heel is really going strong on these these are size 8. Another super exciting shoe find, Freebird. I would say this is kind of in that same category as Teeks, where when you find it, it's very, very exciting just because the demand for this brand is so high and because the retail value of these is very high. These were probably $250 boots originally. They zip in back. They have this like manufactured ruching effect to the upper again a very soft supple leather in a size 39 made in Italy last couple pairs of shoes here these are bass which I definitely do not always pick up this brand when I see it but I thought these were just a really nice quality kind of clog heel which is extremely popular clogs especially if they have a wooden heel which these do um, a really nice kind of whip stitch detail and this is all suede they also look brand new these I did get from the outlet so these were a $2 fine which was great they're a size 10 just extremely high quality on those they do have a lot of weight to them and lastly we have a pair of Jeffrey Campbell suede platform booties it's like a platform Chelsea ankle boot and I think these were sold through Free People. They're Jeffrey Campbell. They're the Rochester boots in a size 10. Pretty good condition. I was a little bit hesitant on these. They were $10, but I looked up comps and the comps checked out. I don't think there were any available in that style on Poshmark and there were some sold. So I did want to grab those. Anytime I am hesitant on picking something up or paying a little bit more for something, 
I always just turn to the facts, I look up comps, and the things that I look for when I am doing research or you know trying to find comparable listings is I look at how many are currently available versus how many have sold and if there are very few available or none but several have sold I will usually always get the item. Um, I also look at if there are some available what the listing price is and with my profit margin how that works out for me. Okay so getting into clothing now we're gonna start off with a couple ponchos this is so cute. It's actually new with tags, Chico's. So I was very, very excited to find this. It's a leopard poncho sweater. It laces up in front. So let me tuck these tags in. Laces up in front with gold grommets. And then it has fringe at the sides. It is a true poncho, so there are no armholes. Um, and this is a nice like transitional weather piece because it's not too heavy but it does provide you know a little bit of warmth and some coverage it's a one size and I'll expect maybe 35 to 40 ish for this I'm sure it retailed around a hundred next is a Lululemon I guess this is more of like an open front cardigan it's it this one does have armholes um, and it has a cutout in back very drapey, uh, just kind of throw on and go. This would be nice in the winter time if you work out and then you know you go outside and you want to put a layer on, but you want it to be really loose because um, you're still you know a little sweaty and whatnot. Here is the logo. Anytime I feel, I was just flipping through the rack and I felt this material and I instantly knew it was Lululemon just because the quality of the fabric is so nice. Next, a really nice jacket. This is J. Crew Collection. And if you guys are unfamiliar, J. Crew does have tiers within their brand. So they have J. Crew Factory, which has two dots under the J. Crew label to indicate that it's the factory line. Then they have just their house label. And then J. Crew Collection is the most expensive and highest tier to the brand. Um, it they use the J Crew collection tier does use a lot of high quality fabrics. This jacket is a wool blend exterior, and then it is down filled, so it's a puffer jacket, but it's kind of dressy with this herringbone print. Is that herringbone? It's like herringbone within a Glen plaid kind of print. Um, and then it has sweater cuffs, fully lined, really nice. This thing would keep you super warm, slip in pockets. It looks brand new, honestly. The only thing is that the zip on hood is missing, which is a little bit of a bummer. But because it's dressy, I think it's okay to be missing the hood because you know you wouldn't really want to go to a formal event in the rain, I suppose. That's my thinking on it but obviously I did note that and I still listed it around 60 to 65 ish just because I'm sure it retailed around I would guess three to three hundred and fifty dollars next up we have Matilda Jane size medium large turtleneck sweater poncho type piece really cute very cozy a marled knit with some texture to it it's like oversized and slouchy this was one of my best finds in a long time. If y'all are unfamiliar with this brand, I highly suggest you look it up, do some research, memorize this tag. It's kind of hard to see. It is black on black, but it does say Jenny Kane, K-A-Y-N-E. This is in a size extra, extra large, which is amazing. And I love the dusty rose color. This is called the alpaca cabin sweater it's a v-neck just extremely cozy this retailed i want to say for around 250 maybe 275 ish dollars i did list it at 200 this brand does it's highly sought after um, the demand for it is high and this is 35 percent extra fine merino wool and 30 percent baby alpaca. So because it is such a great size and style and material, I think that should sell really well. Same kind of thing for this. Uh, it is 
100% rabbit fur front and the back is 100% two ply cashmere. It is a vest. The brand is C by Bloomingdale's. So it's like their, it's like Bloomingdale's cashmere line. Um, and I mean, it's just a very luxurious vest. So soft, so high quality. Um, I personally don't wear fur and I don't buy it retail, but I do buy it from thrift stores to resell just to, um, you know, recycle it kind of and keep it moving, find it a home. Maybe, you know, someone buys it that would otherwise turn to the retail market. So that's my very quick little spiel on fur. You can snap it for it to be kind of like a cowl neck, a high cowl neck, or you can unsnap it to have it as like a waterfall drape vest. So the versatility with that is really nice. Next we have just a basic, this is a Madewell v-neck textured kind of boxy pullover top. The cinched sleeve there really cute. I love that color. Another incredible find. This is Free People and it's 100% cashmere size medium. This thing also looks brand new. There's no pilling, no fuzziness to it. It has a drop shoulder and reverse seam so it really has that kind of laid back effortless kind of vibe to it. So soft. I love this color. And I mean, 100% cashmere, that probably retailed for $200, $250. Barefoot Dreams, a favorite brand to find, size medium. This Barefoot Dreams, whenever I list it, it usually sells same day or next day just because it's so cozy and people like to be comfortable. The materials are just so soft. It ties at the bottom. You could wear that at home, lounging out and about, running some errands. So I don't always pick up this brand, Maurice's, but this did have quite a bit going for it. It's a size 3X, and it also has a very kind of boho style to it. I loved the uh, kind of mixed knits at the shawl collar, I guess you'd say. Maybe like a cowl neck kind of collar, and it's in a Henley style so super cute. This was an outlet find. I probably would not, I would not have picked that up for $6 at regular Goodwill just because I don't think the return would be there. But at the outlet, I will for sure grab Maurice's if it's more of a substantial kind of piece. More free people. This one's missing the size. This is so pretty. It's a halter style velvet sleeveless blouse and it is beaded with this celestial kind of uh, beading. It has like moons and stars and then a tassel bottom hem. And I believe this did measure like a size large. It has a cutout and back with a little tie. Another phenomenal brand, Veronica Beard, kind of higher tier. Uh, this retailed for, I wanna say $350. It's a silk blend blouse. It's a size 14, which is awesome. Um, it does have the tie at the collar and you can wear it untied or tied, obviously. It's a bit sheer, which that is on trend right now, having your tops be a little bit sheer. Miles by Madewell. So this is one of their kind of sub lines within the brand. Size small, really cute camo sweater. I actually found this on 50 cent day. So I usually go and shop at my local outlet every Thursday where everything in the store is $2. And then each day it gets marked down by a quarter. So Friday, everything is a dollar 75 cents. And on Tuesday, everything is 50 cents. And I just kind of popped in because I had missed Thursday and I found this. So I was so excited. I thought that was great. And this has already sold. So Oh yeah, and how cute is this? This bunny, when I was doing research, I saw that this bunny is like a hidden 
image within the camo. It's like an upside down bunny. Okay, this is another brand that I'm always excited to find because kind of like Barefoot Dreams, it does usually sell pretty quickly. Good Human. They do a lot of comfy, cozy basics that have like cute messages, cute graphics, and they're just really nice like cozy updated basics. This one is an extra extra large and it says grateful. They also just fit really nicely. They're very flattering, um, even though they are, you know, generally oversized and kind of loose. Always very soft. This one is Rayon Spandex Blend, which is a stretch jersey knit. Eileen Fisher, size medium. I meant to list this before the holidays because I thought it would be a really nice kind of evening top maybe for New Year's with all of the sequins but that's okay it'll still sell. It's 100% merino wool base and then you know you do have the embellishments here so really pretty. We have a pair of leather biker shorts high, high waisted. They lace up on the sides which is cool. They zip in back. The brand is USA Bikers Dream Apparel in a size 12, genuine leather. They are lined. So I'll add a lot of keywords into those like edgy, moto, biker, um, things like that. <laughs> Next, this is a men's sweater, Irish home craft. Any sweaters that I see that are made in Ireland and are made of like wool or cashmere, I generally do get because they are definitely a higher caliber kind of quality fabric. Very, very well made and they're gonna last forever. This one is a fisherman sweater and it has kind of like a cable knit design. Um, just a very classic style. This will probably sell around $50. It is a size large, no flaws. Did I say it is 100% naturally oiled wool made in Ireland? Okay, another piece that has already sold. I knew this would sell quickly because it is very trendy. It is a shacket and it's in a size 2X, also in a very trendy kind of mustard color. It's a corduroy and this is so cute to wear over like a band tee or just a tank top even with some boots. Um, it's a great transitional piece. You can wear it into spring. I would highly recommend you guys still be on the hunt for shackets. They are very marketable, very in demand. Next up, Lilla P. I have seen this brand out and about, I feel like, but I don't know if I've ever picked it up. I mainly got this just because it was 100% cashmere and I did like the cut to it. It's boxy and then has these kind of flutter sleeves. But then I was doing some research and I saw that this retailed for over $200. So I might try to keep an eye out for this brand more often and keep it on my radar. But anything that is 100% cashmere, generally I will pick up whatever brand it is. Next, this was an interesting find. They are Polo by Ralph Lauren jeans. They're a black jean, kind of a low rise, and skinny leg with leather fringe and studding. So how cool are these? I'll add rodeo, western, country, cowgirl, keywords. And these are the Tompkins, Tompkins skinny jean. So I'll probably list these about $50. Bread and butter here, American Eagle. I've actually sold this exact sweater in the past and I love when that happens because I just, I go to my closet, I search for the brand in my closet and I pull up the listing that I had, just copy and paste everything into the new listing and I don't have to do any research or anything like that. But so cute, boho, southwestern, print on this and this is also a wool blend so it does have several kind of sellable factors to it 25 percent wool so yeah really cute i'll expect maybe 25 to 30 ish on that next lululemon which we love to see this is a very cozy jacket i'm not sure if you would call this like a hoodie or a cowl neck situation Okay, so let me 
This is the body to it. It has a kangaroo, kangaroo pocket and then the neckline you can either wear down as kind of like a cowl neck or you can pull it up and have it as a hoodie. So this is the back. It's a very, very soft material. It has the thumb holes and I believe this is a size six. Yeah, size six. This is another item that I really wanted to get up before Christmas because I thought it would be such a good Christmas dress, but that's okay. It'll still sell. We're still in winter time and you know, plaid is kind of a just a classic print, honestly. It's torrid size 2X, really soft kind of sweater upper, and then a rayon skirt portion. It kind of looks like you're wearing two different pieces. This is called mixed media when you have like two different types of fabrics. So I will include that as keywords. I think it has pockets. Yes, it does have pockets. Um, and it's in excellent condition. Next, more high quality fabrics. This is Jay McLaughlin and it is 100% wool. I love finding this brand, Jay McLaughlin. Their best selling items are their Catalina cloth items. It's a type of fabric that this brand does specifically. And I forget the exact fabric makeup of that, but I'll put it on the screen. Anytime you find a dress or, you know, a top in that fabric makeup, it generally will sell really well. This is not that, this is 100% wool, but I think, you know, that in and of itself is very nice. And again, great transitional piece. You have the wool, which will keep you warm but it is sleeveless so you know you do get that breeze happening it's a long line vest with pockets here next another men's piece this is lands in 100% cashmere size large 42 through 44 and it's just an essential turtleneck gray sweater so I'll, I'll expect probably I'd say 35 to 40 ish on that this is a vintage dress and dresses in this cut especially if they're genuine vintage have always sold very well for me it's like a, a jumper pinafore kind of style I thought the buttons were super cute on the side it's corduroy it's also a midi length which is also trendy um, you could do so much with this you could wear like a cream turtleneck underneath and then some chunky boots um, go for that like 90s y2k look okay we are done with our first bag moving on to the second bag starting off with a hoodie I just thought this was so cute. It had no tags, no material tag, but I loved the colorway to it. It's almost like an ombre kind of gradient look. Very chunky knit. Um, it almost feels like an alpaca, but I can't confirm that. So I'm just going to say that it's like soft in the listing, but it just felt so high quality and I loved the boho kind of look to it. This looks so expensive to me. Like this looks like it could be Jenny Kane or, you know, one of those really kind of higher end brands. More free people. This one is a size large, just a very kind of oversized slouchy sweater in this camel color. It's like a deep scoop neck, drop shoulder, ribbed wrist cuffs. And yeah, just very cozy, very slouchy. Next we have more nice fabrics. This is 100% merino wool, which was why I got it. It's from the brand Orvis and it is a poncho sweater. It's one size, turtleneck, really like thick knit. This thing would keep you warm and cozy. It is so soft. And I love the neutral color. It is a true poncho, so again, no armholes. This was an incredible find. I was so excited. I was flipping through and I just, I felt the quality. So I did a little bit of investigating. The neck, at the neck, there's no tag. It just says 44. But then when you look on the inside tag, it does say the brand name, Loro Piana. And made in Italy, 100% cashmere. This is definitely a Bolo brand. Their cashmere sweaters can sell for 
two to five hundred dollars on the resale market they retail for thousands switching back to bread and butter this is american eagle and this is their newer tag so i just showed you guys the older tag i can do a side by side they're not super different looking so older tag is on top and newer tag is on bottom it's just a little bit more spaced out and they drop the outfitters um, but this is a kind of chunky knit turtleneck sweater it's long line again very slouchy I do like this color made well size medium open front cardigan I do keep an eye out for made well cardigans like this that have a good fabric makeup the Kent cardigan is a, a very classic piece from Madewell that people search out specifically to buy. Um, this one is 30% merino wool, 10% alpaca. So, you know, the quality is great. Um, good neutral color, has pockets. More American Eagle. This is also the newer tag. It's kind of hard to read in there, but it does say extra large. Very soft camo kind of thermal waffle knit top. Um, if this had been an extra small, I would have left it, but with it being an extra large and excellent condition with the camo print, if it were extra large, just plain black, I also would have left it. So the combination of everything was why I grabbed it. More made well, size small. This is a boxy sweater with a tiered ruffle sleeve, kind of a boat neck neckline um, and this is a wool blend yeah this is 27% wool I grabbed this just based on style I thought it was cute mystery I like to have this kind of stuff in my closet as like filler or you know uh, bundle items that just kind of bump up the price of a bundle so I like the earth tones to this and the fringe bell sleeve Really cute probably $20 $25 gap fit another brand that I am kind of picky with gap uh, mainly because it doesn't retail for a whole lot gap body size medium large but as I was saying ponchos sell incredibly well for me and uh, this looked brand new it has a turtleneck it has a kangaroo pocket and the fabric blend was why I got it. Yeah, it's 30% merino extra fine wool. So very soft. J. Jill Shacket. So again, going back to Shackets. I have sold several of these. I think I've sold this exact item in like a coral color. This one is a size extra large, which is great. It's a corduroy texture. Very kind of earthy vibe to it the buttons are very earthy and then the back has some pleating so it's very bread and butter i would guess like 28 to 32 on that 100 percent cashmere from charter club i like i was saying i usually do pick up any um 100 cashmere items that i find regardless of brand um, but people do like their charter club it is a reputable brand it's known for quality it's been around forever next anthropology saturday sunday this is a sub brand from anthro this is like their lounge loungewear kind of subline and people love their loungewear this is one of my favorite kind of sub brands from anthro just because it does usually sell really quickly for me this is like a long line sweater tunic in this fun blue color and then it does have some kind of interesting stitching and in back that's very soft and stretchy I also do really like the kind of exposed seams on it I think that's a really fun kind of laid-back touch um, nylon viscose polyester and elast elastane so just really soft and stretchy this was a very chic kind of find. Another brand that, again, I don't always get, ASOS. Um, but if it, the combination of sellable factors is there, I'll for sure pick it up. Another outlet find. This is a size 2. It's a turtleneck long sleeve 
maxi dress with side slits on both sides so lots of marketable features already the turtleneck the length of the dress the style the color the neutral color it'd be so easy to just throw on like black boots brown boots or flats and a scarf and it's also nine percent wool so it does have that kind of higher quality fabric content going on yet another piece i did want to get up before the holidays but it's okay american eagle size large this is a denim kind of chambray button down shirt with plaid sleeves how cute would this be on christmas morning but it's totally fine i'm not i'm not that bummed about it again i do think it will still sell this is something that has already sold Crim crimson clover and i had never heard of this but it the tags made me kind of stop and give it a second look because it says designed in boulder colorado i could also feel that it was a little bit higher quality so i always go to the inside tag to you know try to figure out what's up with it and it's 59 percent wool one percent silk and so i could tell from that that it did probably retail a little bit higher. Um, anything that says um, on the tag that it was made within the U.S., like Colorado, California, it, does, it, it can be a sign of higher quality. So I thought it was also cute. It's like a thermal sweater with these wrist cuffs, kind of like a printed wrist cuff. Um, and this sold for $29. More anthropology, super cute little turtleneck sweater here with a side button detail. It's like an oversized tortoise shell button detail on the sides, ribbed wrist cuffs, um, just a plain black sweater. This is something that I would totally wear. It's definitely a closet staple, but it does have some fun little accents to it to kind of you know give it a little more flair soft surroundings still one of my favorite brands to find and sell this is a size small medium and it's a long line tunic top dress with pockets kind of a slouchy neck and again with that kind of earthy texture and colorway to it more 100% cashmere. These are actually pants. So these would be so nice to lounge around in. Um, I hadn't heard of this brand. I believe it is a catalog kind of brand, but I purely picked them up based on the material content. They're a high rise elastic waist, and these look like they were never worn. So I obviously had to get them. I think they'll be a great a kind of lounge, lux luxurious lounge item for someone. And our very last item of this haul, I feel like this flew by, was Lane Bryant, size 26, 28. This actually was also a 50 cent day find. It's a sweater with kind of a cable, well, just like a textured diamond print to it. And these lace appliques on the shoulders. This is Lane Bryant's newer tag, which I did notice, that was one reason that I was kind of drawn to it. It does, they do say what year um, they manufacture their items on the inner tag. So, you know, if you're, if you're confused if it's a newer or older tag, you can find the date on the care tag. So that is absolutely everything for this gigantic haul. I hope you guys enjoyed. I do have several other haul videos that I need to film, so make sure you subscribe so you don't miss any of those. Thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed, please feel free to leave me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you guys soon. Bye, y'all.